with uh, political correctness playing a bigger role in the curriculum claim our next guest. A new book details some of these changes and says what's going on inside our kids' classrooms today may shock you. Joining us now are the authors of From Crayons to Condoms, The Ugly Truth About America's Public Schools, Steve Baldwin and Karen Holgate. Welcome you both. Uh, Steve, Thank I know you. you've got a lot of examples you. in your book about things gone awry in public schools, but how many of them are mm -hmm. anecdotal versus systemic? Well, we turned aside hundreds of stories, Alan. I mean, we weren't even trying to find stories. And there were probably four or 500 stories that we could have easily put in the book if we had space. Obviously, we did not have the space to do that. So we think there are some definite patterns out there. These stories came from all over the country. Um, they told us a lot of the same things about how they complained, how they were ignored, how um, uh, a lot of social engineering was going on in the schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think there's some serious problems with the public school monopoly. Right, so, Karen, what do you do about it? Is your idea to do away with public schools, or do you want to improve the system? I think we ought to improve the system, definitely. Um, for many parents, homeschooling is the answer. Others are pulling their kids out and putting them in private schools. But I think if parents get really involved, from crayons to condoms gives them some good guidelines on how to get involved and make some positive changes and that's really what it's all about is to encourage them to get involved in their children's education and right. let's make those positive changes right, for example some of the things you don't like you talk about sex education should steve a parent have the right to have sex ed education for their kids in a public school if the parent would like to have their kid learn that well what we found is that a lot of cases they weren't uh, telling the parents exactly what was going on and uh, we, we found many examples of kids being subjected to very inappropriate uh, material and literature without the consent or knowledge of parents. Hey, hey Steve, and that's the point. You got the condom lady uh, you describe in the book, tells kids about the different colored condoms, uh, describe condoms with different flavors. Yeah. Uh, you've got one thing that really shocked me in the book is students, you know, death education. They were told to pretend they were on a lifeboat. Their ship had just sunk. They were on a raft with a pregnant woman, a captain, a ch children, gay men, and they have to decide who should be thrown off the boat because there's not enough room. And they can't read and write. Yeah, we've exposed our children to all kinds of psychobabble in our public schools, uh, amateur psychologists who think by exposing our children to dark and depressing themes, somehow it's good for them psychologically. In fact, it's done a lot of damage to yeah. a lot of children. And, and, and Karen, they have, uh, for example, creative spelling, you could spell wrong and get it right. They have, you can get the math answers wrong and you get credit uh, on the one hand, but then they spend a lot of time on birth simulation. Explain that. Well, the, what's happened is our schoolrooms have turned away from doing solid academics and we're socializing them and we're socializing the children and, and it's more about political correctness. And I have to tell you that not only did parents write these stories, but a lot of teachers came to us who wouldn't let us share their stories because they were afraid of retaliation. But this book is a testament to those teachers who want to do what they went into education for. Yeah. They, yeah. They want to teach. From Crayons to Condoms, I can't even believe the title. It's a shocking book, but it's one I think every parent needs to read. And, and many thanks to both of you and our friends at WorldNetDaily.com uh, for bringing our attention to it. Guys, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much.